finger bananas. Hi, my name is Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics, where we grow cool plants. And I want to invite you all to join me at the Walter Anderson Nursery located in San Diego, California, this Saturday, January 26th, starting at 9 a.m. in the morning for one hour. We're going to be discussing several gardening tips to help make this your best growing season ever. One of the topics is discussing the Ivory Organics product line, which is down here from the Ivory Organics 3-in-1, which is our yellow label, ready-to-use spray, whitewash products, as well as the six macros plus fertilizers. And in addition to that, we're gonna be discussing fruit, vegetable, roses, and more general care tips, pruning tips, improving soil, fertilizing types and times, and pest control, among other topics, and taking your questions right then and there. You can meet me, the address is at 3642 Enterprise Street in San Diego. And again, they were established in 1928. And looking forward to seeing all of you there. Before I let you go, I also brought you into the home garden to share with you something that's right above my head, which is my gold finger bananas. I'm gonna leave you with a gardening tip as well when it comes to banana care. Come and check out these gold finger bananas that I've got right over my head. So this is our first round of the Goldfinger bananas that we're gonna be harvesting together and tasting together. And that's why I'm just so excited to share that with you. And in addition to this, you may have noticed over the last two to three years, we've been harvesting a lot of ice cream bananas. On average, 58 to 60 pounds of ice cream bananas every single year for the last three years. And check out that cluster of bananas that's just about ready to ripen. So my gardening tip to you is this, once your stalk, once the banana plant has gone to fruit, that parent plant needs to be removed or at least cut in half. You may notice some remnants of a banana stalk behind me that could have been taken to the ground, but it was helping to support this particular gold finger. And what we're going to do is remove the fruit, but we're not going to remove the parent plant at this time being it's mid January. And if you can take a look, it's one o'clock in the afternoon and the plant is in complete shade. So these bananas in the garden only get an average of one to two hours of direct light per day during the winter months. And that light is only on those tips of those leaves that are way up there. It took quite a bit of time to get the bananas established here in the garden, especially getting them through the winter until they were tall enough that at least the tips got some light. And right now, again, at one o'clock, I'm looking at even my tallest banana plants and none of them are getting light. You can take a look over there at the ice cream banana over your shoulder and you can see one o'clock in the afternoon, no light at all. But in the morning hours, for about an hour or two, they're getting some light. All of these bananas are getting some light. But again, here we are now later afternoon, they're back in the shade. And it's important to make sure that those tips get the light because what it's doing is also feeding the next generation of bananas. If you come in a little closer, you can see here, this will be our banana that will then take the place of the mother plant. So we're gonna remove the parent come March, April, or May. Once we see that there's enough light coming to the lower pups, then we'll remove, at least cut in half, the parent plant, allowing the suckers to capitalize on the crown of the banana, on that root zone, and all of those nutrients and energy that's in the crown of the banana will then benefit the surrounding pups. And then the pups will take the place of the parent plant creating the next generation of fruit. And then these pups will be thinned out, allowing one to three pups to create the next generation of fruiting bananas. Well, let's get to harvesting some gold fingers. And here we are with our gold finger bananas. With any of the cracked bananas, just to let you know, there's two main factors that are, you know, contributed towards this. We've had a lot of windy days and the wind, just like um, the wind in the winter months and in the winter, the humidity is a little less. So it causes wind burn and cracking just as it would to your skin. 
So wind is one factor and the other one is obviously watering and that balance between the two is what contributed. But I'd say most of the splitting is attributed predominantly to wind burn. We're gonna um, end up enjoying a lot of these. Let's just pick one over here. And like I said, we're gonna enjoy one together. Our first gold finger banana. It's definitely a keeper. Definitely different than the ice cream banana that we just saw that's fruiting. Right behind it, the taller banana stalks that you see behind this one over here are the Manzano, also known as the apple varieties, and we've tasted some of those um, in the last years. I'd say this one is more comparable to that of like the Chiquita banana, if that's something you're looking for, also known as the Cavendish variety. Delicious. Now let's also get to weighing this variety. Follow me. So we just weighed it. It came in at around seven pounds. So we've got seven pounds of organic bananas, homegrown, delicious, and as fresh as can possibly be. We're gonna eat as many of these as we can as a family today. We're gonna share it with our friends and neighbors and whatever is remaining will end up basically peeling and either freeze drying or, um, or basically freezing it for a later day. But the most nutritious, healthy, most beneficial bananas you can possibly get. Your homegrown Goldfinger bananas. So my main gardening tip with this lesson here is to make sure you do not remove your banana plant if it's the winter months as that parent plant can still offer resources to the surrounding pups. Whereas if you remove that banana plant, all the resources that would be benefited from those leaves, it could put those suckers and the remaining pups into a shock and possibly compromise the entire crown and all the pups attached to it. So be sure to wait until more sunlight comes and the warmer temperatures arrive into your garden before removing that parent plant. If you've enjoyed this educational moment brought to you by Ivory Organics, be sure to give us a thumbs up and most importantly, by subscribing below, you'll be connected to this and all of our other educational gardening videos. And as always, don't forget to hit that push bell notification near the subscribe button as well to get informed of these educational moments as soon as they become released. For those of you in Southern California, hoping to see you this Saturday at the Walter Anderson Nursery in San Diego. And they are located again at 3642 Enterprise Street in San Diego, California, starting at 9 a.m. Looking forward to hopefully seeing you there. And in the meantime, wishing you all happy gardening.